What's going on guys? I got the 986 behind me and I just went for a long test drive after replacing the IMS bearing and the second gear components. So if you've been following the channel, you might have seen those videos. Uh, this, this was the first long test drive I've done after doing those and unfortunately the check engine light came on. So I'm worried I messed something up with the timing. I had to lock the timing, take out the cam tensioners and just replace the IMS itself. I'm worried I messed something up. So the code that I scanned on the car was a P1328 and it's for bank one variable valve timing. Uh, there's a solenoid there that this code is associated with. So it could be that that solenoid's bad, but there are opinions online that say it could be something else with timing. So I'm gonna try replacing that solenoid today. Hopefully that resolves the check engine light. So let's get the car uh, off the ground here with the jack and I'll show you guys how to replace that solenoid. You should be able to find this solenoid for just under 200 bucks. The OEM one is definitely more expensive. Um, but you can find this elsewhere for a little bit cheaper. So for install, we take off this clip here and then we'll take off the two bolts, one on the bottom, one on the top. Turns out my connector was actually missing the clip on there. So I have to figure out where I can get that clip or make another one. That's most likely why I'm getting this code is that this clip was probably sliding off of there. I mean, while we're here, we might as well replace the sensor, but it's probably not the issue. It's probably that that clip slides off. All right, I have the new solenoid installed here, and I tried going to Advanced Auto and getting a clip that goes on here, but it didn't work. So what I did is I went on Amazon and I got a fuel injector clip. It looks like this. These connectors look very, very similar. They might even be the same. So this clip should work on here. Let's take it off and try it out. All right, I have the clip on there. I had to cut the clip to make it work, uh, but the, this doesn't come off. The connection doesn't come off when I pull on it. So it's good for now as a temporary solution. All right, that wasn't too bad. So now let's get this wheel on and go for a drive and see if this fixed my check engine light. Well, I just went for a test drive and that worked. The check engine light didn't come on. The car's running better. So that sensor was definitely an issue or the connection on there. So that's good, good news. I was worried after the IMS bearing that something went wrong. So now we can move on to other things with the Boxster. There's a few things I have in mind. I'm going to be doing the rotors all the way around. As you can see, these are pretty, pretty grooved up here. So we're going to be doing a more aggressive pad to help with autocross. I'll need to do tires in the spring. These are getting a little bit old. They have tread left, but they're a little bit old. Want to clean out the front radiators and then do a suspension overall not the shocks and struts and the springs, but all of the arms. So the control arms all the way through the rear, I think trailing arms there, those have been replaced. So I won't do those, but everything else will go through. Uh, I'm gonna do something a little bit more aggressive, like monoballs up front, maybe stiffer bushings all the way around. I already picked up these, a good deal on Marketplace. Some end links here. So this is what we're gonna be going for. Uh, it's not obviously not a daily driver. Most of the time I'm doing spirited driving, autocross. Uh, on the interior, there's not really much more that I want to do here. One thing that I had in mind was going with the Sport Classic steering wheel. Now it comes with black leather, uh, I think black uh, metal in the middle. So I was thinking about doing a custom one to where it's silver, matching this GT silver color, and then brown leather on the outside. In terms of exhaust, I think I want it a little bit louder. So might be doing some headers or maybe removing those mufflers back there. You have to see this system. It's a pretty good balance. Uh, it has mufflers going back here and doing a little X pipe there. So maybe we could just do a simple muffler delete in this existing system. I have to play around with that, see what I want to do, but headers are probably in the future. I'll be doing bigger spacers on here, so stock these 
S550 spiders come with spacers all the way around. Might go with something just a little bit more aggressive, get this fitment totally flush with the outside. All right, that's it for this video. We got a lot more planned for the Boxer. So stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching.